Hello ladies and gents, my name is Carl Feldman and today I'm going to be showing you how to create device groups and before going on and doing that, can you please subscribe as this will help motivate me to create more videos. Let me just get started, straight to the point. What you want to do is scroll down and go to systems, you will click systems and then you go to settings. After settings, what you want to do is go to endpoints, click endpoints, and then scroll down. Sorry, here to permissions, and you go to device groups, device groups, and then you go to add device group. We will name the device group, and we will just say this is finance for example if you were making a device group just for devices that belong to the finance those who work in finance and the remediation level you might want to remediate threats you want you may want particular device groups to remediate threats automatically or to require approval and so forth and this is why you may want to just do device groups for that um, you may want device groups that are stricter than others so for here, if it was finance, require approval for all folders, right? And this is where you pick what devices um, you want in this device group. For example, let's just, we've said finance. So let's say you have tagged all the, um, the finance devices as, as finance. You would put, of course, as a tag you've tagged it finance you would put finance or whatever tag you've you've tagged it with when you were onboarding these devices whether it's pen testing this is perfect way for um, pen testing um, if you were to, to, to put pen testing devices and um, have those devices go through a suppression rule right so that it's not creating alerts you would create a device group for those particular devices that you're going to pen test. However, you can do it on operating system. It will show you if you want just Windows 10 um, um, laptops or, or devices, Windows 10 laptops, des des desktops or su such, you can just come here and, and, and click that. Or if you just wanted servers, 2019 servers, Windows servers, you can just click that and, and put those in a in a, a device group. However, for this, as we've said, finance, we'll just pretend we have a number of um, devices that we've tagged in fi with, with finance, and then we just put finance, click next. And if you if you usually show if you if you have if you have tagged those devices with finance. They would usually be here when you click the show preview. However, I haven't got those particular. Um, I haven't got that set up as this is just a lab. This is just a, an example. But if you've tagged those, it, it should show up when you click show preview. And that's what you want to do. You want to see um, that. And it should have all those machines that are matched. But as I don't have that, it's not going to show here. But we're just pretending. And then what you want to do is click next and user access. And this is the department or this is the AD user group that will be managing these devices. For example, you you may only want a, a um, finance security department to manage finance departments. I mean, finance devices because it's stricter, right? So you may want that. We're just going to click the IT department and of course permissions still apply um, with this. It will mean that only that particular Azure AD user group manages this div um, these device devices when it, um, it, within Microsoft Defender um, endpoint. So you want to submit. And then that is the finance device group created. And with that, thank you for watching the video. Please like and please subscribe. Thank you.